Well, we're out here today at Stanek Tool uh, in New Berlin, Wisconsin, just a little bit north of Milwaukee. And I've got a fixture. You can see it on my screen here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. You can see this fixture stand here. And you can see it behind me, too. I didn't take my camera today, but uh, I do have the webcam going. So what I wanted to show you guys today, though, is I'm measuring up this fixture for these three locations up on the top. Um, and I've already got an alignment based on the bottom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three locations and I am going to re-measure these. They've fixed these blocks and I'm going to re-measure those three locations. But what I do want to do is notice here in my model tree, I have got these three locations. I've got them highlighted right now so they're visible. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate these so I don't, uh, I don't change the original or the initial measurement that I've done. So I wanted to show you guys that today. It's just creating duplicates inside of the model tree. And it's super easy inside of Polyworks. So the way I'm going to do that, though, is I'm just going to grab these three features, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to create a duplicate. Now notice in the model tree, they show up down below at the bottom of my features. I usually just click and drag, and I bring them back up to almost the same location. And then I'm going to not show these three original ones. OK, now look. So this is what I've got. I've got these new features now in my model tree. They're exactly the same as the originals. But what I'm going to do is I am going to, or once these blocks are recreated or, um, or redone, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back into here, like this 0.6 origin, which is going to be this guy right here. I'm just going to right click. And then I'm going to go probe measure. OK? But you, I'll close out of that a second. Usually what I like to do, though, is after I create these duplicates, I like to come in, I right click, and I hit Properties. And I change the name on these features and say, this is After Modifications. And then I just apply that and close it. So that, that's a good way of showing my client a before and after. So now if I highlight this 0.6 origin, and then here I'm hitting my Alt key and dragging this one out of the way. This way I can show them a before and then an after. So once I start to, uh, to remeasure this part, all these numbers will repopulate and hopefully that will all go green. So easy way of doing just uh, a remeasure, but what I wanted to do is keep the originals and just do this as an additional one just to show my client a before and an after.